Greetings, friends. My name is Zero, and we're sitting here in my artist studio where I've had a bit of inspiration. Uh, look in my hand. Do you see this tulip? A magnificent, magnificent tulip. I want to paint it. For I am an artiste, and an artiste must paint. I don't know why I got that accent there, but let's go ahead and pop out of my seat. Go over here to our model. We'll get rid of this flower. And we're going to paint this tulip. Beautiful tulip. So let's go ahead and set up our easel. We're going to need, let's go ahead and put myself in GUI mode, one of these, a fence gate, a fence, an item frame, and a map, an empty map. Ah, oh, that's cool. Look at my hands. What I've done is I've created a canvas here. This is exactly the borders of the map. It is 128 by 128. It is got a two th a two pixel thick border, so there's two blocks around the edge. So technically, my surface is 126 by 126. I think 25. Yeah, yeah. 126 by 126 drawing area. We're going to need our paint brushes. Let me just get those real quick. Okay, now that we have our easel, we're going to set it up here. So you're going to place. I'm going to put it right here. So let's place our fence gate. Let's put it here. Fence gate, open it up. Place a fence here and here. Place your frame and your map of this 128 by 128 area that's framed off. So we can get rid of those. Now we need two special brushes. We're going to open that. We're going. It looks like an easel now, doesn't it? It's cool, right? I wonder if this works. So what happens if I do this? Nah. Okay. I should have made one of those look like an easel. I mean, a, uh, the thing that holds the paint, I can't remember the name of it. But we need two items. One is the arrow, which I've replaced the texture. It says here, replace brush the arrow. What the arrow does is whatever you click on, it will change it to. The add brush, which is the gunpowder, does differently. It adds on blocks. So let's grab both. And I'll show you. We're going to use V to set our voxel which is what we're going to paint with. Let's set it to a lovely wool. So let, we'll set it to, let's get wool. We need green wool. So we're going to do lime wool. That's 35. So V, 35. And now VI, what's the, it's slash 5. So VI, which is what the item data is, 5. So now we have 35, 5. Now that we have that, we go to, uh, we're going to set our brush to 1. We're going to set B S M I for material ink. So now when we click with our gunpowder, we'll get a block. Hmm, let's see. V I 5. One second, I told you the wrong command. Silly me, I told you, uh, MI which is replacing. We don't want that. We just want C. That's combo. That means material and ink. It's been a couple. I just got up recently. It's blech for me. So now with the uh, gunpowder, it will add on like that. We don't want that. We want the arrow. So we take and that replaces. You see what I'm doing here? To undo, you press U. You can do a number of undos. So we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. U, 11. Gets rid of all of them. If you just do 1, just with U, it'll get rid of that. So we're not going to use the gun. We might use the gunpowder. Here's how we'll, Here's what we do. We take this item. We draw something. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the heck happened there? Silly thing. We draw that. Then we hold our map. Let it get uh, populated. You see if, uh, well, I'm pointing at the screen again. I don't know why I do that. But if you look, you can see a gray pixel underneath. That's Minecraft's shadowing. It'll show you if a block is higher. And also, it updates this, which is really cool. We need to rotate that. Let's rotate it down. There we go. So, but if we take and do this, and just replace the blocks, update it with our map, you just see without the shadowing. So that's what we're going to use. 
and I've done 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. So use 16. Uh, let's do four more. There we go. So we don't need the gunpowder one. Not right now, anyway. So we're going to put it over here. We're going to put our map in an easily accessible location. So let's paint our thing. So we're going to need light green and green. So let's go ahead and grab our green wool. We're going to need pink and light pink. So let's click on, let's go to wool. We'll get that. And since we don't have a light pink wool, let's use magenta. Let's see what the clays look like first. Ah, that's good enough. So, now that we have that, Let's grab a frame, put it here, grab that, oops, grab the wrong thing there, grab that, put it there so we can get a better look at it. So I can do that and not have the actual 3D model, that's a pain. Okay, so we see that. So we're going to paint the cup here. We're going to need hardened clay and something darker than hardened clay. We'll go with red, those look well together. So 172 and 159, 14. So we'll start with 172. V, 172, VI, 0. And we'll paint. Uh oh. I fell out of my house. How stupid of me. Okay. Now we have that. Let's go ahead and change our brush. We're going to go to brush C for cylinder. It's, it's already set at 1. We're going to change the size, so do B for brush. We're going to give it, let's try 3. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. So let's undo that. And instead of cylinder, I forgot cylinder adds. Let's change it to over D1. That's overlay depth of 1. So it should do this now. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. I should have waited till I got a bit more woken up for this. It's still a little bit fuzzy in my mind. It's B, D for disc. We're going to go with a brush size of, let's try three. So now we have that. That looks a bit big, so let's undo that. Let's go to two. Okay, and so let's paint our files in here. Let's gently drag it. The slower you drag, the straighter your line is. So we're going to paint that in. And take note, I'm not doing this for hours. I could spend hours and hours making really nice paintings. I'm not going to. That's just a pain in the butt. So let's go ahead and do the vase. Okay, now what are we going to use for shadowing? So we're going to change our VI to 14. Change our disk BDC so that it uses both now. And we should get. Uh oh. Silly me. Ay, 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 ay. Get back up there. I don't know why it's selecting air blocks. I must have a touch of lag with this recorder set up. Oop. I don't want it to replace. Well, maybe we do. V is 172. VI. Oh, 159, sorry. VI 14. I think that's it. Yep, so now we click. Yep. And so let's just add a very basic shadowing. Ay, 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 ay. Don't hold in shift. Just add our shadowing in. And just for the record goes, I set up as an artiste. I'm not really an artiste. I do Photoshop graphics and some design like that, but painting with a mouse like this is not my thing. And so now we go back to Voxel 172, Phi 0, paint that in. What in the hell? There we go. V172. We'll smooth it out a bit. There we go. There's our clay pot. So now we need green. 
So 35, 13, V, 35, VI, 13. We should be automatic. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to paint like that. Let's uh, change our brush size to 1. Ay, 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 ay. Let's change our brush to snipe so that we can have pixel control. So BS. Uh, get it, BS. Then we have that. So we have one. So dark, light, light, dark, dark. So that. Maybe we should do uh, one B D C. change that to a 2. There we go. Keep in mind I'm not trying to impress you with my awesome drawing, drawing skills. I'm just giving you a tutorial about what you can do tonight. Yes, you, there are editors you can use to uh, do this with your friends. Uh, or just, you know, do something in Photoshop and be done with it. But, you know, where's the fun in that? You can actually take, and with this, you and your friends can get on a server that you have Voxel Sniper set up on. And you can, uh, what's the VI for this? VI? Five. You can, uh, take, undo, 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 brush, that's your brush size of one, that you and your friends can get together and do this on. Much more fun. Whereas, you know, you could load up the map file in Photoshop and make one, but it's not as cool as that. So let's go to uh, VI0. That's my name. Get it? Don't wear it out. Let's do a B snipe. So 159.14, B159, VI14. Snipe that in. Brush, snipe. There we go. I must have. I must hit the wrong key. There we have that plant. Now we need the colors for this. So we have thirty-five two. Brush disc C. V thirty-five. Vi two. And let's go ahead and just fly out over here. Let's take one for reference. We're done with the clay, so we'll just take that. Fly way out here. And we'll just paint it in like this. And uh, this is really fun. You can create some really cool things. Back a long time ago when I, when I was doing this for fun, but it wasn't near as fun because uh, now we have the these uh let's speed five. It used to not do this. Your map used to uh, show you awful. It was just like inside the frame. I'm sure you remember. It was just last version. But speed one. This is much much cooler. So there's our little tulip. Let's see what's the for this one six. Yeah, six. We'll take and look at this for reference. There we go. Do some prettiness here. Some prettiness there. Let's do that. And now you update it. Hold the map. Let it draw everything in. And now come over here there we go and voila you have your very own painting in Minecraft and uh, another thing you can do is you can take one of these maps let me grab another copy of this let me toss this on the ground so it'll give me a fresh one there we go and let's go ahead and uh, Get rid of this, we don't need it. Grab yourself some paper. Grab a crafting table. 
let's get rid of that anvil. We'll put it here. So put it there. Get rid of that. You can put your map. You know what? Let's let's grab that anvil back. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. Let's put the anvil right here beside the couch. It's a comfy couch. Uh, while we're waiting for me to think up names for this painting, let's make a tutorial on this couch. You need snow. You need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four. There we go. There's your tutorial. I've got a name for this now. So let's grab our paper. We're going to grab four pieces. We're going to name our original painting. Let's see here. Tulip. In really bad voxel sniping. There we go. Now we have tulip in really bad voxel sniping. It's a play on the uh, term of like tulip in repose, which was, which is a uh, repose is a uh, reposa is French Italian for uh, uh, what is it called uh, rest. And some people when they like they have like like their wife like Sarah a drawing do a drawing of like Sarah at rest. They'd call it like Sarah in repose. It's a play on funny. This, which was really bad. I'm explaining the joke and killing it. I'm sorry. So now we take our go here. You know, what, let's just grab a whole stack of paper. I don't know how much it's going to be. I'm showing you this, but uh, let's grab our copy of two. Let's grab our tulip in really bad fossil sniping. Surround it with paper. And you, oops, I did that wrong. I think that's it. Is that it? That should be, uh, that should give you two. Yep, scaling one to two. If you surround it in paper, you get a higher scaled version. Now, what you can do with this, come on, let's go ahead and uh, let's go to speed five so we can fly around and load this in. So now it's at one to two scale, so it's uh, four times as big. You could fit four of these paintings in, and you could move your origin point down here, create a much larger frame, and create a very, very detailed uh, map. So we'll rename this one to 2x. Will that show up? Yeah. There we go. Then you could uh, take that, play this set there. Put that there. Oh, yeah, my bad. You need. Ugh, like I said, really early here. It's like 6 in the morning. You need an empty map. Place your map there. Place your empty map there. And you get two of them. So, there you go. Hey, does that. If I drop that and pick that up, does it take away the name? No. What happened to my tulip in repose? Huh. Or tulip in really bad voxel sniping. <sighs> really weird. That's cool. Apparently it only lasts for so long or something because it's not named anymore. Hmm. Also, uh, yeah. It says scaling it 1 to 2 even though this one technically isn't. And it shows like two dots because there's this dot here and this dot here. But, uh, yeah, I think I've drugged this tutorial out a lot longer than I should have. But just take your pretty painting, grab a map, an empty map, which you can craft with eight paper and a uh, compass. My comp. Just grab a compass, which is a piece of red dust and four red stone and four iron. Do that. You get a map. Place that there, like that, and you get two. And you can duplicate your map and share it with your friends and everybody's really happy blah 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 and uh, that's it thanks for watching uh, 
if you enjoy this tutorial that I've dragged out and killed horribly because it's really early and I should have done this later, but I'm not going to. I'm in a recording mood and we're going to do it here. That's good water. Uh, if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Uh, do some creations with your friends. Post them online. Share this with other people so that they can have some fun. I got a Facebook message. Sorry about that. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.